A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dirty Dominic Mysterio! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. This man needs to keep his guard up all night. The Miz is a master of disgraceful tactics. Make way for the It Couple. And his opponent, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. The black sheep of the Mysterio family, Dominic seems hell-bent on ruining his family's legacy. Oh, give it a rest, Cole. Dirty Dom has forged his own path. That's something that takes true guts. If you gotta say something bad about Dom, I'm sure he'll have no problem taking care of it in the yard. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, the schoolyard, maybe. On the other side of the ring is the A-lister, the Miz. I expect to see Miz try to break every rule in the book and take any shortcut he can find just because he feels like it. Oh, quit whining, Saxton. The A-lister takes the unjust disdain hurled at him from the WWE Universe and shoves it back in their collective face. Keep shining, Miz. Forget these losers. This match grinded him down a little. Just tossed. She could airline miles for that. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Dominic with the reversal. He steps foot in the ring again. Look at this. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Bam! Down he goes. The Miz is such a dangerous competitor. Even with all the skills in the world, we all know he's not above taking shortcuts. You can't fault the Miz for being smart and bending the rules to his advantage, Cole. And if you want to beat him, you can't be afraid to bend those rules either. You really have to try and beat Miz at his own game. And Miz just taunting. Both superstars perched up high. Not from up there! He catches Dominic with a counter. Drop kick. 
The Miz shifting the match to his pace. Dominic now is going to have to dig down deep. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? see the excitement building in Dominic's eyes now. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. And this match will head back to the ring. He beats the count, and this one continues. Arm ringer, their opponent in a compromising position, but now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. <laughs> Snapman driver face first. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Quick sidestep by Dominic. Raw drop kick. Arm control applied and a kick right to the midsection. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. He turns it around. He's looking a little weary now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. What a forearm. Forearm smash. You can see the dismay on the face of the Miz. And it looks like he's beating the Miz. That might be it. Just kicks out. Dominic perched up top. Up high, Dominic cross body. Throwing all costs into the wind. Oh, come on now. 
The Miz is being reprehensible. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Arm ringer. Well, that changed. Dominic gets the better there. Big cross body. Oh, man. And there's even more offense from The Miz. You have to be impressed with Miz's composure at this point. He has answered everything this fight has thrown at him. Goodness gracious. This is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Miz putting it all on the line. From the top. Oh, no, 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 no. Piercing elbow. That's gotta be it. Two count. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. The Miz leaves here tonight victorious. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers.
Time to party with the profits. You know, it's been a bit surprising to see Ford and Dawkins sporting more of an attitude. If you ask me, they finally wised up. It's well past time they stopped messing around and got serious about their careers. Well, I'm not surprised you're a fan of this change, Corey, but there's a lot of fans out there that feel betrayed. Well, they can go cry into their crumpled party cups. Ford and Dawkins only care about getting paid and taking names, as they should. You know, guys, I have an idea. How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, D.I.Y. Ciampa, Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a bet together and against each other and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight. It's an instant party in the WWE Universe whenever the Street Profits are in action. Montez and Angelo have certainly set themselves apart with a tremendous amount of swagger and athleticism. Yeah, Michael, it's that athletic prowess that has made the Street Profits triple crown tag team champion. Middle rope. Oh, misses the mark. He got whipped into that corner. Champa's attack is thwarted. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Return fire from Montez Ford. Oh, what impact. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He reverses it. And he goes for the pin. Only a one count before the kick out. He's not even close to being done yet. Oh! Close line! Flat Placed out. Placed Power, power bomb, and then... Oh, knee to the face. Reaches his partner for the tag. Stopped them in their tracks with a kick to the gut. Placing them into the corner. Oh, just turned that around. Look at this, going counter for counter. Punch lands. Solid punch. 
switching it up. Oh, man. Look at a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Boom. Boom. Oh, ouch. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Swing shot. Oh, straight to the floor. Face, meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Ah, oh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Stop. Now he's been put on the defensive. Ford working hard to deliver his best hit there. There he goes, right into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Champa is in some serious trouble. Yeah, Ford is proving hard to keep up with. Mangling the face. That holds back Ford's attack. Tommaso managing to get some control back now. Tommaso is getting grinded down, but it might have just made him stronger. Oh, God, that hurt. Clean tag for his partner. Close line! Make it over. Standing sheer annoy. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. And frustration might be starting to set in. This has got to be one of the most knocked down, drag out progressions of a rivalry we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. Oh, what a close line. Tagged in. into the corner, and Ford had it scouted. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Able to give him the slip. Big clothesline. No way. Suicide dive. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Now, that'll do some serious damage. We might be close to the end. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Tomasa Champa is relentless. Montez is definitely in peril here. They need to be aware of a count out right now. And up the turnbuckles we go. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wow, Milhouse Belly. Carefully oh. measured. Again? The sailing the joints of the leg. Oh, man. And, and the cover for the win. This is it. And he only stays down for a one count. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. with a crucial elbow. Uh-oh. It's oh, what a nasty knee lift. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. It's Gargano who got taken to school with that attack. Yeah, with that, the Street Profits proved that where there's smoke, there's also fire to get burned with. Boom! What a right touch! Ooh! Oh, what a clubbing blow. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Gets him with the counter. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Drop kick! Wow! Counter. 
turns back Champa's attack. And Champa hits back. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. The old running haymaker. Gosh. Not the position you want to be in right now. It's just insulting. Got the tag. Got the tag. Float over. Oh. Into it. Float over. Nice. DDT. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Getting set up for something in the corner. Drop kick. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Wow, oh, belly on belly. He thinks he has it. Kicks out. Good Lord, scarily close to three. What are they planning to do here? Using the ropes in a, a chicken wing. Montez Ford, little rolling thunder into a frog splash. And this has got to be it. Maybe not. his team in the match. Tommaso Ciampa hooking the arm for a very tail ending. That could put Dawkins down for good. A seesaw battle in front of us. These superstars have left a lot in the ring tonight. You gotta start wondering if they have anything left to give. The Street Profits are reeling after tonight's difficult loss. Street Profits need to get their mind right, get their heads straight. They say they want the smoke. Well, they couldn't handle it tonight. The long boats 
have landed. The Vikings are here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Ivar, representing the Viking Raiders. Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always tiffy time in WWE. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And accompanied by AJ Styles, representing the OC. From Fontana, California, Meechin! You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're a store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. She is the heavy hitter of the women's division. And she's definitely not here to make friends. She is here to make wins. Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. She calls herself undeniable. Well, it's time to prove it. I have every bit of confidence that she will. Superstars in their respective corners now for this tag team match. Set for action in this competition as we begin with Valhalla and Tiffany Stratton. They've got their hands full across the ring with Meechin and Zoe Stark. We have to be expecting a frenetic pace in this matchup. These teams stop for nothing. They are all go from bell to bell. Oh, and that buys some time. With the suplex. Oh, kick finds it. She turns it around on Meechin. She 
She's pushed into the corner. Answering back. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Meechin sidesteps out of that. She's got an answer for that. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oof. A oh, slap. Looking bad for her here. And Valhalla may have felt that coming. He is looking to do some serious harm. Oh, she's trying. Trying to create space. Oh, my goodness. What an impactful STO. She's found an opening. Gut-wrench suplex. Making it look easy. Ooh. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. What are we going to see here? Expertly applied suplex. Can she do it here? Stops the count before it, too. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Kick to the body, into the... Oh, into a powerbomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a powerbomb with that much force. Come on now. What is this manager bringing out? He should revoke his license for this. And the knee. She was clearly waiting for that. Blatant disrespect. Escapes in a nick of time. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Bahala got met with some ruthlessness that time. Yeah, that's Meechin putting her in-ring acumen to good use. Devastating counter. Scouting paid off with a DDT. Tag is made, and here we go. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Finds a counter from Stark. Good timing with that. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. That's a great counter there, and turns it into a great offensive maneuver. Into the corner. This can't be good. Jarring impact. Able to tag her partner. Clubbing strike breaks up that move. This is truly disheartening to watch. These are such talented superstars, unfortunately, resorting to every possible tactic they can think of to just... And will this be it? Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Kick to the body. Running start in a corkscrew neck breaker. Oh, counters right under the bread basket. Places her right in the corner. And oh, double shoulder block. And Stratton didn't exactly bring her best there. Bam! Oh. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Gets the tag. 
A running Hurricane Rana. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Oh, man. She gets the tag. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Like there's some more fight left in her. Oh my goodness. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Stop after stop after stop. Valhalla is in command right now. Yeah, now Stark's gotta turn the momentum around. Here she comes! Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Forearm right to the jaw! Oh dear, this doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. There's a tag. Right to the kidneys from behind. Loving blow. <laughs> what a punch. But I was still neck for a while. Oh, what a wind up. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. She hit the corner hard. And she's in off the tag. Wicked clothesline. <laughs> oh, got caught with a punch to the face. Improving a bit slippery for him there. Big time close on Good grief. The close of this match is just ahead. Truly fighting to the last breath, but we might be coming up on that soon. I don't know how there is anything left in these superstars' bodies. Yeah, the tank is being emptied tonight. Uh-oh. There's the backbreaker. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. And that attack has to weaken Valhalla even more. Meechin is still taking charge and refusing to be held down. Look at this. Incredible. Ah! The Tetlip German suplex. The elbow to escape the attack. Roundhouse kick, man. Sent into the corner. And full control here. Face for a turnbuckle. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. No shoulder to the gut. So rude. 
ruthless. Gets the tag. Oh, man, by the hair. Air whip. Climbing to the top rope. We're going to finish it off. Caught in the crossfire. Oh no, this could be really bad. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. You can feel it. The place is rocking. The WWE Universe making their feeling. Tiffany Strat Stratton is just about to finish this. Off the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. Well, this is impressive. An inverted Texas Cloverleaf submission. This is painful. Trouble in trouble. Tap it. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Oh, look at this. Opponent set right in place. Split leg moonsault. You can sense what her intentions are here. No! Suicide dive! That is tossing your own taking no account for their own well-being. Ooh, double axe handle. And Meechin reverses it. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. We just saw. Here are your winners. The team of Michin and Zoe Stark. And with the ref's count, this match has ended. I hate a count out. I feel cheated, and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated. What a tremendous athlete, Bianca Belair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca's just so naturally gifted. It's like everything comes easy to her. She is good at everything. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip.
Things are about to get a little more country in here. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. A team from where the beer drowns and the whiskey chases their blues away. You would have friends in low places, Corey. She cannot afford to let Bianca Belair purchase real estate in her mind. Not if she wants any chance of taking down the EST. Here we go with one of the hottest young talents on the WWE roster, Bianca Belair. A naturally gifted athlete, Belair has the strength, size, and agility to really be a dominant force in the women's division. She said that things just come easy to her, and she's made it very clear that she won't settle until she's the best. Well, we're about to see if Bianca can back up those claims. And then we've got the rough and tumble Fallon Henley. This gutsy superstar is focused on two things, taking her game to the next level here in WWE and having fun doing it. Henley may not be as physically imposing as some other superstars, but she has a big presence in the ring. She has seemingly bottomless energy and a willingness to just fight her heart out if that's what it takes to win. Damn. Boom! Fallon Henley couldn't find a way out of that maneuver. Bianca Belair, such a dominant and athletic superstar, considered the EST of WWE for many reasons, which I imagine has to be somewhat intimidating for her opponents. Right, Corey? Absolutely. But the best thing about Belair is that the EST is also short for the cockiest, which I love. But it dovetails with a relative inexperience as an in-ring competitor, which a more experienced opponent can easily use to their advantage. Boom, right in the button. Avoiding contact. She's able to get out of the way. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stomping down. Yeah. Neck breaker. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Fallon Henley making an example of her opponent. Uh-oh! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Ah, oh, look at this, hairball mat slam! Setting up for something here. Oh, look at this, there's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Oh, short knee right to the body. Caught with the elbow. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Right across the knees. Heel oh. up locked in. This is painful. Oh! Belair able to adapt. Ah, oh, kick! Nasty kick. Ah, oh, just a deadlift into a back suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Guys, I have to admit, it's truly hard to watch when a rivalry goes from cover. Here's the cover. Almost two and a half. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Turns the favor there. <laughs> Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Henley was scouted there. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. 
into a rip cord lariat. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Boot to the stomach. Bianca wobbling, looks vulnerable. Alan Henry. Alan Henley with a bow down. Did Henley just close this out? Makes the cover. Picked up the victory. Here is your winner, Fallon Henley. This has got to be a tough loss for Bianca Belair. It's so early in Belair's career, and I don't think this loss is going to derail her trajectory in the WWE. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. Look at that formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch. Gallus is here, and they are ready for a fight. The recklessly dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match.
There is no safe quarter when Gallus is in action. Everyone is a target. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, and it is for the Raw Tag Team Championship! Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 486 pounds, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus! And their opponents at a combined weight of 440 pounds, the Raw And Giovanni Vinci Impedia! On the line of the Tag Team Championships, teams in their respective corners going over final strategies. There's the bell, and Gallus looks ready to unleash their brand of bold and daring offense. Yeah, and at times, they are downright brass, Michael. There are no pleasantries about the way they attack their opponents, no matter who the unfortunate team is to meet them in the ring. I wouldn't want to meet them in the pub either, Byron. But when you face Imperium, you face the fight of your life. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more polished, disciplined, and lethal group of superstars. When Imperium gets in the ring, they are all business. Yeah, calling them stern would be an understatement. For Imperium, this industry is a serious matter that other superstars have turned into a laughingstock. And in Imperium's eyes, that's a wrong they themselves must correct. Crank in the head. Great counter. Oh, just gouging the face. That's not right. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Smart strategy, attack the knee. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. Set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Face first. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. He had it scouted. That got turned around on Mark Coffey. section. He is looking to do some serious harm. Ooh, the forearm connects. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. The champion hoping to take the arm out of commission. Kick to the gut creates separation. Hooked up. Here's the pin title on the line. Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. He's been placed in the corner now. Look at that counter from Ludwig. The head scissor takedown. Oh. Suplex, here it comes. Nicely done. And tag. He's in now. Finally. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Nice running crossbody. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh, God. Ooh. It's a rather 
crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. Ripping and tearing at the face. Seems like the champion isn't worried about bending the rules a bit here. Butterfly suplex. Oh, man. Placed in the corner. Oh, what a forearm. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Kaiser has just taken command. This can't be how Joe envisioned tonight going. Countered it just in time. Nice running crossbody. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Some hard offense landing on the champ. This is when you have to take it. Wait, 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 wait. Starting to weigh down on him. Whoa! Cross body. Joe looking for the high risk move. He's got him scouted. Oh my gosh! With one hand. And a clothesline. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Look out! The, the oh! Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh! Kick lands. Uh-oh. And a carefully measured knee drop. The challenger not looking good right now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Joe facing a beatdown. This is what it feels like to run into a competitor like Ludwig Kaiser. It's no secret these superstars have it out for each other. This is a feud that can open. And they score the win. What a tag match. victim to the ref's count this one is over when it comes down to the record books a win is a win no matter the conditions they should still be proud Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. We are about to see the siren song of Scarlet and the ominous presence of Karrion Cross.
There are only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. Here comes a man with a vision. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! I gotta tell you, the new focus of Apollo has really unlocked his full potential. Yeah, Cruz now looks unshakable and is fully focused on continued success. There's no telling what Cruz is capable of with this newfound focus. Well, if Cruz can truly unleash that untapped aggression we've seen under the surface, nobody's safe. Apollo Cruz fights for his family, fights to provide, and tonight he no doubt will be fighting to win. One of the most impressive aspects of Cruz in the ring is his ability to adapt. Opponents might think they have him well scouted, but then he throws him for a curve. Jeff Saxon, coupled up with his unrelenting focus on winning, and he is quite the dangerous competitor. But the devil's work is never done, and Karrion Cross is living proof of that. With a combination of intense ruthlessness and devious mind games, Cross isn't someone you look past. He's someone who runs through you, mind, body, and soul. Yeah, Cross is as dangerous as they come. You can never count him out, not even for a second. Into the corner now. What a collision! And where does he... No, no, no! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. script on him there. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Oh, what a clothesline. Oh, and corks it, uppercut. Care quickly to cover. Oh, somehow. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Arm drag, smart counter to that maneuver. And now Cruz goes up to the top rope. Up high, cross body. Cross is looking to right the wrongs of his first run in WWE. How does he go about resetting his story, so to speak? Pretend it never happened. Cross has never lacked for confidence and faith in his own abilities. If nothing else, he absolutely has the leeway to dish out punishment on his own terms this time around. He should not hesitate to do so. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. Right into the leg lock. Wrestling one. He thinks he has it. The official's concerned with the wrong thing. Sight. Uh oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Back suplex on the apron. You are guaranteed to hit a steel beam out on the apron. 
apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Oh, sharp knee. Oh, that might have just broken something. Into a power slam. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back. Incoming. Splash. Apollo is now dictating the pace. Yeah, Cruz is ripped. And this one is over. goes down in defeat. Cruz doing the work, getting it done. No muss, no fuss. The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules match! And at a combined weight of 501 pounds, Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso! The Bloodline! The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. And given who he's in the ring with here tonight, does his approach change at all in this one? Well, it's only human nature to want to give a little bit more when in the ring with a known enemy. But you have to be careful not to try to do too much. Staying within yourself is key here. Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. And at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Alberto Los Lotharios. The Latin lovers, Los Lotharios, now trying to prove they can be lovers and fighters. A pair of high-flying heartbreakers. Now they know how to get it done in the ring and save the partying for later. And they're hoping to have a lot to celebrate tonight. Los Lotharios are hoping for a quick win here so they can hurry back to all their adoring fans. Uh, don't hold your breath, ladies.
Angel and Umberto, Los Lotharios set for action here tonight. These two have a tendency to lose their focus, but when they're on, they are absolutely impressive guys. Yeah, Los Lotharios are not just smooth with the ladies. When it comes to the in-ring work, they have some... Showing his instinct. Oh, close line. Ooh. Will this be enough? And he makes the save for his team. Oh, there's a headbutt. Getting out of the ring. Smart decision here. Shake off the cobwebs away from your opponent. No clue what he hopes to find down there. He's looking to unload on his opponent with that kendo stick. Given the notice qualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics should you expect to see? Can he do it here? Thank hey, goodness oh. for the teammate, Not just quite in time. He turns it around. <laughs> Not quite smooth sailing for Los Lotharios there. Jimmy took plenty of pride in dishing out that pain. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And he's got the hard wood in hand, and you have to imagine a sinister plan for what comes next. There's the crucifix, nicely done. Ooh, well scouted by Umberto. He avoids the damage. Running Hurricane Rana! Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And he's able to fight Angel off. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. So much damage inflicted. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, Enziguri. Uh-oh. Somersault plancha. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Super! He's back into the ring. What a headbutt. Vicious. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Here's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. This result leaving a lot to be desired for Los Lotharios here tonight. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders.
Please sit down, Byron. Please I can't sit help down. it. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb making his way to the ring. Representing the new day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds. Big E. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for the New Day. Get it. Ah, New Day rocks. Come on, Corey. New Day rocks. You're not clapping. Nor will I ever. Biggie's hips don't lie, man. <laughs> Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is a walking compendium of wrestling knowledge. Well, that's how Gulak balances the scales against bigger opponents. Ready to outsmart and outfight anybody. seems to always have a chip on his shoulder. Always fighting hard, like he's got something to prove and everything to lose. It's one of the many things I respect about Gulak. Along with the impressive in-ring skill set he's developed over nearly two decades. Yeah, and when Gulak combines all that in-ring knowledge with his tenacious attitude, he's been known to produce some pretty spectacular results. And he's got quite the challenge in front of him in the form of Big E. We've all seen this play out before. Big E uses his big personality and sense of humor to lull people into a false sense of security. And then he unleashes his even bigger power on them. Yeah, the power of positivity is deceptively powerful when you put it that way, Saxton. Oh, yeah, that hurt. Big E responds. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a kick. Oh, the power. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Hoisted all the way up and down. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. The ref still counting. Might be a count. Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little? That's exactly what they were thinking. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Shoulder tackle. He was waiting for him to make his move. Big E, of course, loves to have fun, but he knows how to get su Cover! There's two! He gets the shoulder up at two. You have to think. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum! No, he kicks out. Could be in search of a second win now. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Big E on the wrong end of things there. 
And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Brought back into the ring from the floor now.
These two are all about beating people up and winning gold. And they have won gold all over the world. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Gentlemen, the tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. The Judgment Day is assembled here with nothing but menacing looks on their faces. They're out to do some serious damage here tonight. Aren't they always? Judgment Day approaches every match with astounding ferocity. They're not here to make friends or to compete fairly. Good point, Byron. Judgment Day has made a pretty successful career out of bending the rules and using any advantage they can find in the rank. And this should be interesting because the OC is always raring for a fight. Fighting together, traveling together, hitting the pay window together. That's what the OC is all about. And it's just too sweet. Oh, knife edge chop. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh, 
Wait for it. Boom! Alabama slam. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He's tagging out. Carl awards that attack off. Atomic drop. Oof. Counter on Anderson. Pays off. And misses on the springboard. to get the advantage here. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Brings down a hammer to turn the tide. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Super kick! Tagged in. <laughs> Stiff kick. Here's a pin for the title. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. This could be a tipping point in this match. He's one step ahead there. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Truly savvy maneuver from Carl Anderson. Left by the turnbuckles. Uh-oh. Crafty escape off the back. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Oh, and into a big boot. Working in perfect cohesion, the champions have a strategy in mind. Sharp clothesline. <laughs> Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. Using as much force as possible to beat their challenger's leg down. Shifting their motion into a takedown. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Compromised position here. No, oh, someone called the dentist. Carl Anderson tags in. And stopping away in the corner. Just ruthless. Can't say I approve of the champ's tactics, but that's one way to get the upper hand in a fight. Just breaking down the opponent. What a moment! Here are your winners, Damian Priest and J.D. McDonough. The Judgment Day. Darkness, evil, a quest for control like no other. The Judgment Day rules the night. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft.
Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well-thought-out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. When you're talking about the biggest and baddest, Piper and Chelsea aren't part of the conversation. They are the conversation. Trust me, the last thing I want with Chelsea and Piper is a conversation. Yeah! Let's get the party started! Whoop, whoop. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. The following contest is a tag match set for one thumb. And it is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. And their opponents, the team of... The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. And they're taking on the formidable duo of Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. Two of the most dominant women in WWE on their own, but together, they're unstoppable. Uh, I think you might be over-exaggerating just a bit, Corey, but they have proven to be a powerful team. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. And she's stunned in the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Seems like the champ might have a pretty clear strategy in mind here, going after the arm. That was some heavy pressure applied to the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. What a senton. Great teamwork. Teamwork could be exactly what makes the dream. Cover by the champ. Kick out close to three. No celebrations yet. Bang. <laughs> Never saw it coming. <laughs> what a forearm. Oh, look at this. 
so ruthless. And sent right into the corner. Double big back body drop. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Looking for a submission here into the tour. Punching her way out and breaks the hole. Counter. And now there's an opening. <laughs> Victory roll pinning combination. Rolls through. Super kick. Lock up to the top rope. Top rope breaking out. Oh, costly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Play possum. I love it. Stays in the fight for the title. Wow. to avoid that kind of offense if she wants to be in this match. Yeah, Niven saw the opportunity and didn't hesitate. Oh, with authority! Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Jarring impact. On unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Gets tagged in. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Ooh, dropped right on their face. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Carter isn't holding anything back. Dumped face first. The challenger's looking shaken. And that unique style of Carter's paid off. Flying shoulder block! My goodness. If the champions want to keep their titles, they can't allow any more of these double teams. Tag made. Tag made. That was a power bomb with... Here's the pin. Title on the line. Fending off a two count there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Looking wobbly in the corner. Tossed around like a rag dog. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Torturous focus on the leg in the corner. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, as Piper Niven was channeling that ruthless aggression, just dominating the competition there. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Somehow breaks the count immediately. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Measured kick to the vertebrae. That'll turn your lights out. Oh, that's going to sting your back. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Chelsea Green is channeling the energy of this crowd. And it's the ref who takes a hit there. Things might be getting a little out of control. How oh. oh, punishing! Counters right back on Chelsea. 
Hammerlock. Hammerlock. Reverse DDT. This is a unique application of a hammerlock. Oh. She's tagged in. Expected that one. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Lands face first. She had now a pin for the championship. Kick out and the title fight continues. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Yes, tag. A running hurry Colorado. Beautiful. The next on the kick. Oh. Niven gets out of dodge. is failing to offer any resistance here. And Niven has to pull a trick from her sleeve. Turned that one around. Monster set up in the corner. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. She finally creates some more offense for herself. If Carter was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Face full of turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. <laughs> Just attacking the legs. Hold on, she could be looking for a submission move here. Oh, Black. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. The champ not looking great right now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag suit here. Yeah. Put into the corner now. She fights Piper back. Picks the leg of their opponent, steps through. Here we go. Rolling death lock. And she releases the hold as she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? Leg drop. The champion into the cover. And the champs retain. A big win for Katana Chance and Kayton Carter in an even bigger celebration. I gotta admit, it just seems so natural for Kayton and Katana to win a match like this.
The following contest is scheduled for one thumb and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. He's here and holding two championships. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. At 19 years old, he won the first ever WWE United Kingdom Tournament and the championship. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bate is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. One thing he can't do, guys, is try to outthink the Apex Predator. You're right. It simply can't be done. This superstar needs to rely on physical ability. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion and the NXT Champion! Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Each man in their corner awaiting the bell for what should prove to be one of the most challenging matches of their career. We know the stakes. World Heavyweight Championship will go around the waist of tonight's winner. The energy in the arena is palpable. Goosebumps are tingling throughout my body, Michael. We know our combatants must have butterflies in their stomachs. Well, nerves need to steady, and these competitors need to bring their A game if they hope to leave with the World Heavyweight title. The energy in this building will come over. Counter into an inverted DDT. Good golly, Miss Molly. With the counter. Fantastic. That maneuver goes to show you how much. Why not gonna win for a couple hundred years, Byron? You know why? Because the Billy Goats way to break the curse. 
Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. You really have to know your anatomy to contort the human body like we just saw. Oh, meet the back. Play it possum. Whoa, play it possum. A close count for the challenger. That was a long two count there. Oh, what an uppercut. And for the moment, Bate gets knocked down a peg. And a reversal by Tyler Bate. Stomping. Ouch. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Big forearm. Hooked up. DDT. Placed into the corner. Uppercut connects. Foot to the belly. Oof. Pounding the bread basket. And there was some force on that move. Oh, he fights bait back. He's turning the tables. Going for a pen for the championship. An attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Front knee drop. Boom! Uh-oh, Cole, I think we know what the Viper's doing. Yeah, Randy Orton in position. Team. Orton looking as lethal as ever delivering that attack. Well, some things change, but Randy Orton stays as deadly as ever. I think the four the win. Two. Kicks out, just kicked out. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp. Up high. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. How's that for a counter? Wow! Beautiful textbook drop kicks. Make it twice. This superstar on the move. Big cross body. Stop short of two. He's still got life in this matchup. On the shoulders and a slam. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Not what you want to see by any means. Uh-oh. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Oh, Randy Orton putting him in position. Gotta love it. DDT. The champion into the cover. Two. The champion retains. Here is your winner. And still the world heavyweight champion, the He wasn't giving up that title, no way. A pretty impressive defense. Challengers might think twice before coming at him now.
the longest reigning WWE Champion in history. They truly broke the mold with this man, Bruno San Martino. Yeah, Bruno set an all-new standard in sports entertainment. And every superstar has since tried to follow in his gigantic footsteps. just exploded Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late, but all it takes is one wrong move, and that title could be going home with somebody else. Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. Introducing the challenger from Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the living legend, Bruno Sammartino! And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion! You win this title, you are a top name in this industry. And here we have a superstar who's been grinding his teeth at the Performance Center as of late. Yeah, a consistent work ethic is what you're talking about, Michael. He's not someone who will rest on his laurels. He never has been, and that dedication is what puts him in position to win tonight. Let's take a second to appreciate the other man in the ring, the superhuman Bruno San Martino. A true hero of the people, Bruno's so beloved by the WWE Universe that he has single-handedly sold out some of America's most famous arenas. Well, that love for Bruno wraps around the whole globe. This is a man everyone holds in high regard and has the utmost respect for. I don't think there's a single competitor in WWE who wouldn't say Bruno is an inspiration to them. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And a message sent there, letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. All that size and momentum landing with a sickening thud. Thunderous right hand. Corey, any words of wisdom for taking on a competitor with the incredible physique of Bruno Sammartino? You have to play the long game and try to whittle away at Bruno. You can't just take him down with one big hit. You've got to take your time and weaken him little by little. That's the only way to get it done, Cole. 
Vicious right forearm. Looking wobbly in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. And he's able to counter. Oof. Oh. Able to avoid there. Oh, kept right to the gut. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. He must have seen that coming. Oh, turned inside out. Oh, high. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. San Martino with a nice turnaround. The champ looking worn out. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we can have a new champion. And he kicks out at two. Close call, that was almost lights out. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. I thought we saw this reach the boiling point already, but boy, was I wrong. Well, that shouldn't be a new feeling for you, Saxton. You should try being right once in a while, Byron. It feels good. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Front kick to the body, and check out this power. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. Cover by the champ. Retains. No. Challenger kicks out. How? How? Lifting their opponent back to their feet in a thunderous right hand. Whoa. Oh, just completely off target there. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. Well, this isn't going to win the... Whoa, whoa, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. And finds a counter. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Time to flip it. Ball switch. But champions need to finish the job for the win. Two count. Retains the title. Here is your winner. And still the WWE. Crucial victory as he retains the title. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title. The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship.
symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. A storied career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT Champion, the first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now a main event star. Cody Rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa. There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. This match for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship is now underway. The feeling in here is electric. How could it not be? This is the biggest prize there is in all of sports entertainment. This title is what every superstar dreams of. It's also a ticket of the history books to mark your name down among all-time greats. This should be one hard-fought match. And a super kick! 
Rose timed that one. Bulldog. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, right, right, down. Line. It cinched it. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Great reversal. Takedown of their opponent, and there it is. It's top trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Seth Rollins, known as the visionary of WWE, as it goes into the pen. He is still very much in this. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We're going to have a new champion. Oh, he kicked out. Somehow, some way. Scouted. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. Hoisted up. Double underhook. Weaves out. And a close line counter. Pulls the ripcord. Boom! Ripcord knee. He's returning fire. Disaster kick. That might have just broken something. Broken up with a fist to the face. What a hot shot. It's it all the way to the outside. Rose has his opponent. For Crossroads. The champ has this one in hand now. Finished off for sure. Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot. Yet yeah, you can't give up now. You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Rolling into a monkey flip. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. Rhodes is unloading offense here. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his face. Come on. Good defense. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Picture perfect drop kick. Rhodes turns it around. Uh-oh. Last ditch escape over the back. Cody's cut open, but I think he's in his element, guys. And a mud hole is being stopped. Ouch! That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. High risk plans from Rock. Launching. Whoa, look out! Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. Delivers the Bulldog. Swing by by Rollins. And he slides him back to the mat. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. This was all but over. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Crank in the head. Just breaking down the opponent. 
He foiled that attempt. Slight leg. Uh -oh. New champion. We have a brand new champion fulfilling their destiny. Here is your winner and the new undisputed. And he's walking out of here. The new champ. Tonight is definitely a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now. At least, if they're lucky. Oh, come on, Corey. Don't be such a party pooper. We've got a new champion. The ring general has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Without question, Gunther has made an immediate impact since his arrival. A truly dominant specimen. And a specimen who is as ready as ever to chop clean through the competition. Hey, he puts others to the test, and they often come up short. He moves with such a purpose, absolutely no wasted energy. Well, that's because Gunther is saving himself completely for the battle ahead. Yeah, but he does manage to make his entrance as intimidating as possible. Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds, the true colossus of WWE. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! Just look at the size of the Nigerian giant, a man who weighs over 400 pounds. Yeah, Omos has proven to be too big for just one brand. And it seems like he's only getting bigger. He is about to stand face to face with European excellence personified. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of once that cage door is locked. 
I shudder to think what individuals are capable of when they're surrounded by 15 feet of steel. And once you are in the cage and the door is locked, the time for talk is over. It's all business. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. Rip it at the eyes. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Placing them into the corner, landing the uppercut. Omas able to counter. My goodness, did you hear that shot? And they're going shot for shot. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. one the wwe universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now oh moss earth shaking impact is it enough to overcome gunther this might be one of the greatest rivalries the wwe universe has ever witnessed this has progressed far beyond any animosity we've seen in recent memory i'm just glad we have the pleasure of being able to call their matches and another counter He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And referee cuts off the count in one. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. And that attack managed to rattle Omas for the moment. The ring general delivering a power bomb. Gunther can taste victory now. And he's still in the game. I think it took every inch of Omas's massive frame to kick out of that one. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Right across the larynx. Smart attacking the arm. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, earth shaking spine buster. Incredible. Here's the cover for the win. And there's the survivor of this steel cage match. Here is your winner, Gonta! An always thrilling steel cage match. Unpredictable to the very end, but there's the survivor. It looks like the Goliath Omas met his David in the ring tonight.